Hello J247, it is great to be back with you this week. It is officially the summer holidays and school has officially finished, woohoo! So well done for making it through the last few months and for working really hard at home. Um, and now we can enjoy the sunshine and relax for your six weeks um, before school starts. And I really hope that you've received great school reports, you've had some um, great information about your new class next year. I really hope you're excited um, for September. But until we get there, I have some more scriptures for you today. And again, we are tackling and looking at family. Now, I wonder, I've only had, this is our third week, isn't it, on family. Have you wondered over this last week or two how many scriptures God actually talks about family in the Bible? There are lots. Now we are only looking at four weeks and we could do this a lot because God values family. He values us being together. He values us um, believing in the same thing and having that unity together. Um, so it is a really important topic. And I have another scripture for you today, but today we're gonna to look slightly different. And we're not gonna look at the people we live with, but we are gonna look at our church family. And so when I say family, yes, you have your family that you live with. You have your grandparents, your cousins, your auntie and uncles that perhaps don't live with you. Um, and then you have family, as in the church. And why we are classed as family is because we all believe in Jesus Christ together. And that is something that brings us together. It's something that unites us and therefore we are family. So J247, you are family all together. All of you J247ers together. You, that is your church family. You are, you are family together. And you know, it's okay to miss them. It's okay to be wanting to see them and, and speak to them. Um, right now, I know Elizabeth has made lots of phone calls to different people because she misses them. And it's okay to want to be with your family. But I have something for you today, a scripture that talks about it and a craft that might help us remember each other and to pray for each other. So I'm going to read my scripture first. Are you ready? It's from Ephesians um, and it's chapter 2, verse 19. If you don't have your Bible with you, you can look it up later or you can pause this video right now and run and get it, whichever you prefer. Are you ready, Ephesians? Consequently, you are no longer foreigners or and strangers, but fellow citizens with God's people and also members of his household. Okay, we're not strangers um, from each other because we come from different houses or we don't know each other. Um, we haven't known each other since we were born. We're not strangers. We are fellow citizens in God's kingdom together because we have said yes and we believe in Jesus. And when that happens, when you decide, I believe in Jesus, he died for me, um, you become one of God's citizens in his kingdom. So it's not just our church, but it's all the churches um, together. We are a family. All right, so J247, I want to pray with you. So let's put everything down. That's it, sit nice and still, close your eyes, and I wanna speak that scripture over you. So Father God, I thank you for J247. I thank you that for everyone that is watching this video right now, and I thank you that we are all family together. And Father God, I pray right now that you remind us of our church family and you help us to remember our church family and to pray for them and to thank you for them every single day, Father God. Um, and Lord, I thank you that you begin to bring even more church family people around all of these J247ers, Lord, that you remind them that they are not on their own believing in you, but they have lots of friends that believe in you too. Lord, thank you for this wonderful time. Thank you for this day and bless us all together. Amen. Right, J247, it is craft time. Woohoo! Are you ready? This week, we are going to make more family members. Woohoo! So I would love for you to find um, some plastic bottles that are empty or some empty jars, something that you can use as a body. So I am using plastic cups. 
Um, these are actually wine flutes, plastic ones, but they're good because they're long and they're thin. So I thought that would work as a really good one. Oh, and plus I didn't have any plastic bottles in the house. So plastic bottles would be the first thing. And then what I would love you for, for you to do is um, buy some colored paper or some scrap paper and cover your bottles. So decorate them in a way that you think the body should look. So. I've cut out, so, oh, I've drawn some hands. I'm going to cut out the arms. Are you ready? Then you actually need to decide, and this is step, you need to decide who you are making. So I have decided because I want to remember my church family. And the last two weeks I've made my family. So I remember who they are because I see them every day. So today I'm going to make some people from my church family. And I'm going to make Juliet and Lauren because they are my church family from J247. And I miss them and I want to remember to pray for them every day and to thank God for them every single day. So I have made them some arms. I've cut some arms out. I'm going to take some wonderful coloured paper here. I'm gonna cover up the cup here so it looks a bit more of a colourful body. Let's the skirt look wonderful. So, arms, we need an arm, this one needs an arm. Brilliant. So, I've stuck all the arms on, they're looking fab, now it's time to draw the heads. So, Let's have a look. Juliet has short hair now, doesn't she? Now Lauren has changed her hair and it's looking quite long. And my third fellow j 247 er is Charlotte. And she, her hair's also looking fairly long. So now every time I look at these cups, let's check out the heads. I can remember to pray so J247, I suggest you choose maybe two or three people from J247 and you make them. And it will help you to remember to pray for them because you're not seeing them every week. So it will be a really good thing to do. I'm going to use a lollipop stick just to attach my head. Now, you can make buttons, you can make handbags, you can make actual clothes, t-shirts, anything you want for your church family members, okay? Make them look really good, spend some time, colour those bottles in, stick some bits on them, you know, if you want to make pasta pool, you can make a really wacky shirt, um, maybe an Adrian shirt as well, you know, you could make whoever you wanted but it's just a really useful way to remember to pray together. So don't forget J247, there we go. We've got Julia, we've got Lauren, we've got Charlotte. People I really want to remember to thank God for and to pray for every single day. So J247, challenge you to make your J247 fellow um, teammates and just be thankful for them. Yeah, God has brought us together because we all believe in Jesus together. And that is the important part. That is why we are family. And that is why God loves us to meet together and to pray for one another. Brilliant. Have a great week, J247. Thanks for joining in today. And I will see you next time. Bye.